Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marke of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, night and day seasons. Night and day seasons. Night and day seasons. And I'm still walking on the lakeside of Genesaret with Peter. Interesting Peter. Now, if you remember, when Jesus came to Peter and borrowed his boat and preached with it and all those other things, here is the Interesting thing. When Jesus asked Peter and said, listen, would you launch out into the deep? He said something. He said, Lord, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. I have spent the night trying. I have spent the night making every attempt. I have spent the night. This night has been a very brutal night for me. This night has been a very adversarial night for me. This night has been a very uh, uh, torrid night for me. This night has been a very dark night for me. This night has been a very, it's, it's, it's a night of failure. It's a night, uh, it's an unsuccessful night for me. I have toiled all night. Now, but here's the thing. Jesus didn't come to Peter in the night. He came to me in the daytime. And Peter was referring to his night. So guess what? His night season was a night, it was a, a, a season of failure. His night season was a night, it was a season of adversity. His night season was a season where his expectations were not coming to pass. But Jesus came to him in the daytime and said to him, launch out into the deep. So you know what? There are seasons in our lives. And whether we like it or not, so far as night and day exist, we will have moments where we'll bow our heads in, 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 in pain. We'll have moments where we'll bow our heads in shame. We'll have moments when things are not going according to the way we would want them to be. But for sure, for sure, for sure, daylight would come. No night is forever. There is always an end to night. So the night seasons of our lives are not permanent seasons, but they would expire for day seasons to come. And I thank God that in the day season, the Bible says the Son of Righteousness comes with healing in His wings. God comes through in our daytime. God comes through in the day seasons to give us the, uh, to ease the pain of the night season and to, uh, to roll away the stones of offense and the stones of shame that, that, that uh, bottled us up or that locked us up in our tomb, uh, night season tombs of shame and adversity and pain. And that is what we need to understand. That God finds a way, God finds a way to visit us in the day season. So you know what? If you're going through a night season, don't, don't despair. The Bible says, weeping may endure for an evening or a night, but joy comes with the morning light. And just like he visited Peter in the daytime, he's also, you're also going to have your day season. So you know what? Keep your head up. Hold up your head. Don't put, bow your head in shame. No, don't do that. It was a day season of glorious manifestation, glorious success is coming. So don't give up. God is still on the throne. Holds our night seasons and holds our day seasons. Hey, I'm looking forward to your day seasons. God bless you. See you later.